how to set up your course to drip release to your students. What does this mean? Basically, this means that if you're setting your content to drip release, you're setting it up to only give access to certain parts, selected parts of your course to your students based on either set dates on the calendar or the amount of time after the date in which they enrolled. So there are two different ways that you can set up a drip release. And this can be really good for instance, if you're doing like a, a time-based training program, for instance, you might be doing like a four week challenge for something. So you might have your module split into four weeks worth of training. And therefore you might want to release one module per week um, and don't want the students to skip ahead. You want everyone to stay at the same pace at the same time. This can work well if you're integrating like an email marketing software for instance so that you can also time the drip release of the modules with the release of emails which are going to then remind the students that the content has been released and to remind them to then go in and consume that information that you've now made available. So how do we do this? You're going to go into your Thinkific school, click on your dashboard, click on courses, then click on the course that you want to set up the drip release for and you'll come to your, your course dashboard here. And then you click on this big button called drip at the top and you want to create a drip schedule. So you press that button and then this is where you choose, do you want the content to be released based on a specific date in the calendar or when the course is released? Um, or would you like it to be based on the time at which the student enrolls? This is the most common one because you might have students in the online world, you know, people are going to be enrolling at all different times, highly likely to be. So this is the most common scenario. So this will now show all of your modules that you have set up for your course. So it's important that first you actually go into the curriculum part over here and actually enter in every single module and every single lecture because this has to be in place in order for you to set up the drip release schedule. So let's say you've now done that. You'll see here you've got module one, you've got module two, you've got module three, and so on. Now these could be called week one, week two, week three, or day one, day two, day three, month one, month two, month three, however you've designed this. It might not be time, time related, but this is the easiest way for us to get ahead around this. And you'll see quite simply, you just fill in how soon after the moment of enrollment do you actually want this content to be available to the student to consume. So obviously we want our introduction, and our first module to go out immediately. Always give your students something immediately to go and look at. People like to get an immediate return for their money these days, so I recommend that. It's not the right way or wrong way, but I recommend that just to keep people happy. And then let's pretend this one was called, I don't know, um, That was. let's pretend that was week one. Let's pretend this one is going out on week two. Quite simply, all we do is say that this is going to be given to them seven days after enrollment. Let's say this was week three. Well, that's gonna be 14 days after the enrollment. So we're adding a week. If I had more modules, it would go up obviously 21 days after enrollment. So you get the point, we go through and do all of that, press save changes, and now that would basically, when the student goes into the school, they would only see the content and be able to view the content based on where they were at in that sequence from the day that they signed up for the course. Then separately, and this will come in another, in another video that I have on how to actually then set up your email sequences to match this very same sequence based on the student's enrollment date so that they get given emails that match this and remind them to go in and have a look at the newly available content. Content. So that's how you set up a drip release using Thinkific.